let us use derive to calculate some limits. First of all, let us enter a function, sin x. Let's click on limit. The variable is x. We are approaching 0 from both sides. Simplify. This limit is equal to 0. Let us take sin x divided by x. Calculate the limit. As x approaches 0, the two-sided limit. Simplify. The answer is 1. Let's change this expression a little bit. Let us take sine x minus x and divide by x cubed. Let us take the limit as x approaches 0 from both sides. The answer is negative 1 sixth. We can also use other expressions. Let's say x exponent x. Enter. Let us calculate the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. Simplify. The answer is 1. Let's try again. x to the x. Calculate the limit as x approaches 0. Let's say from the left. Simplify we still get 1. But the calculation is somewhat formal and mathematically you will have difficulties making sense of this. Let us try one more limit. Let us take 1 plus pi divided by n exponent n Let's take the limit let's take the limit but let us have n go to infinity. On our special character list we have a symbol for infinity. Let's enter this, approach it from the left, simplify and your answer is e to the pi.